Yeah, we're starting to get vegetation, but for about the first three, three and a half hours, it was just mounds of sand, yellowish brown. Uh, well, Grandma, this is a stop from Lima to Prakas, where it's an old colonial home slash, I'm not entirely certain what, they made it sound like potential slave plantation, but then they were talking about tunnels for escape, and we're gonna do a tour. So I'm gonna learn all about that, and I will let you know. Um, yeah, I believe it is Hacienda de San Jose, they said. Could be wrong. Grandma, I thought I'd get better video for you down here, but it's, you know, super dark, so this is what you're gonna get. <laughs> I'll explain it when I get back outside. Uh, well, Grandma, those were the slave tunnels, that terrible dark footage that I got. Um, they were less humanitarian than I thought. I thought they would be something like slave escaping, like the Underground Railroad or whatever. Um, they were used to avoid taxes, so whenever they had slave ships come in, they would report 100, but it would really be like 300, and they'd hide them down in those tunnels. Um, but yeah, no, this is the inner courtyard of the colonial house. And yeah. Next stop is Brockus, an hour away. Uh, this is the hostel I am staying at here in Paracas. Uh, it's much, much larger than it looks out front. It is the Paracas Backpacker House. Um, I forgot to give you the name actually of the place I stayed in Lima. It was Orchid Hostels. Um, much smaller than this, but it was still nice. Yeah, the best part is the super public shower that I won't show you just in case somebody's naked over there, like I was earlier. I've had a lot of public nudity on this trip. It's been real great. Um, this is Paracas. Literally in its entirety. Uh, there's pretty much first row buildings here. One, maybe two more behind it. That's it. Um, I originally came out here to do the Ballestas Island tour, but then I did the sea lion swimming in Lima, and those are pretty much the same thing. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. But I believe that way is the national park, and I'm gonna, gonna go do that tomorrow, which I found out for free. Uh, the Peru Hot Bus tour, the company that I'm with, has that included, and I was unaware of that. So I look forward to doing that tomorrow. Other than that, I'm just gonna hang out today. It's about 2 p.m. Got like eight and maybe nine hours to kill tonight. And yeah, just gonna hang out and take it easy. All right, see you tomorrow. Well, the sunset dinner up, well, okay, you can't see it, uh, over at that place did not work out. The food was incredibly expensive, even by US standards. So I ended up just getting some like street rice seafood thing. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow is the national park. Should be fun. If I remember correctly, uh, that beach down there is called the Playa Serapaya. Um, and the Serapaya means, I guess, like little devil or something. Um, yeah, and I guess, or maybe, maybe it's actually the beach that's over there. Because when they were explaining the beach on the bus, they said it had a lot of rocks and waves. And I mean, they see the waves, but no rocks. So I'm going to go check that out. Um, I apologize for the wind if it's picking up and being terrible, but there is nothing I can do about that. Hey, Grandma. Um, this is the first stop in the National Park slash National Reserve outside of Paracas here. That rock is called the cathedral. I guess it used to look much more like a church before the 2007, 2007-ish earthquake. I'm gonna since change to that. And you might hear me say in another clip that a different beach is Playa Sarapaya. I'm pretty sure it's this one though, now that I get to see the rocks and waves. Uh, but yeah, now we have, I believe two more stops after this. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a desert 
that just runs directly into the ocean. Um, yeah, pretty big fan. Hey Grandma, this is stop number two in the National Park. Uh, did not catch a name for this, but they just called it the Ithmus. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's a more specific name for it. Um, but yeah, we are going to walk up to the top. Let's see what happens. I assume it just looks out onto the ocean, but you know, you never know. Could be something like that one over there where there's like another smaller rock at the end of it. Just to be determined. over this other edge. Nope, just the same. So remember at the Grand Canyon when I went and stood at the lip and looked over the edge? I really want to do that here, but unfortunately it is not a sheer edge, it is a curved edge. And I'm aware if I keep going, I'll probably just die. So. Not gonna do that today. But still very impressed with this national park. The desert and the ocean is pretty cool. So those cliffs over there are where I was a moment ago and I had a lot more room to go before I died. I thought it was much more rounded to the bottom. Uh, not sure if you can see in the video, the screen's kind of dark, but it is much more sheer cliff than I thought it was. So. I should have risked it. Uh, but yeah, this here is Playa Roja. It's just got red sand. Uh, supposedly on the other side here, there's more, but I'm gonna go take a look. So Grandma, I apologize for the wind if it's bleeding through. Uh, I'll have no way to know that until much later, but I'm coming to the end of my time in Paracas. I thought it would suck after yesterday because it was really small, there was nothing. I walked around the entire town like seven times. Um, but the national park here was definitely worth it. Uh, also, if you can't see, this is not related to Paracas. This actually happened in Lima, but I think it's here. I have a very dark strip. Um, and that was from, I was wearing a hat backwards on the sea lion tour and the little gap in the hat got this super red and then there's a white spot below it that's not as noticeable because the rest is light pink with the super dark line. Uh, really loving that. But yeah, uh, the Paracas National, Natural, no, National Reserve is pretty cool. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, definitely worth the one night stay here. But the next stop is Wakachina and it's only about an hour, hour 15 bus ride from here. So yeah, in Wakachina I will be dune bugging slash sandboarding slash seeing the stars slash whatever. It's just another one night stop. And then I have the 16 hour bus ride or whatever it is to Arequipa. Um, yeah, I'll see you in Wakachina. that the Chinese scarf would not make an appearance. It's there. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. That was our buggy, I don't know where he's going. <laughs> In a moment, I'm gonna be sandboarding the first hill here. Uh, this is the small one. It looks like it's basically sledding. Right. 
Uh, if I said the other one was the big one, I was wrong. Yeah. It is in fact this one. And maybe even the next one. We're gonna find out. That was way faster than the other one, I loved it! Ah. <laughs> 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 Hopefully there is a second one. Is there another one? There's a 0% chance I walk back up this, by the way. I think there might be two. You want to push? Yeah, I'm just going to wait for you to go to that spot. It feels like I'm sliding sideways. Just wiped out pretty hard. I another huge hill here. Oh Try to figure God. out if I'm doing it. We'll decide later. Yeah, all right. Guess we're going. Yeah, I hope I don't wipe out on this one too. Yeah, I'm not doing feet up the whole way though. Not a chance. <laughs> I mean, she's doing it. It looks okay. It looks okay. Just be ready to put the feet down when it, it comes down to it. Yeah. Bro. Which one this one catch you? <laughs> 
Okay, I'm not moving. I'm starting to go. Didn't wax on that one. You can definitely tell. I think that was the right call though. Still dying a little bit from working out. My lungs kind of hurt, I'm not gonna lie. Got wiped out. I hit it real hard. Well, Grandma, I am four or five days into the trip and this dune buggy and sandboarding was very easily the highlight so far. Even better than the sea lion swimming. I realize I've not done Machu Picchu or Rainbow Mountain yet, but this one is going to be hard to beat. It's a lot of fun. Well, this is my Wakachino hostel, uh, Wild Rover. I figured if I was going to do one party hostel night, it would be in Wakachino because it's the middle of nowhere, um, and I don't have to leave until like 1 a.m. or 1 sorry not 1 a.m. 1 p.m. tomorrow. Um, yeah. Pretty excited, we'll see what happens. Well, I made it to the overlook above Wakachina. I'm not gonna lie, walking up these sand dunes was very difficult. Um, but yeah, that is the oasis down there. Um, not very large. My hostel is, I don't know if you can actually see it here, that building the big like internal courtyard uh, yeah Wakachino is pretty cool the only real thing to do is those buggies right there the sandboarding which is really fun I mean like I said highlight of the trip so far but other than that you're just relaxing hanging out looking at these sand dunes eventually every sand dune looks like the other uh, yeah the hostel was okay I mean if it's what you're looking for it was definitely like the party hostel or whatever. Um, so they just were bumping really loud music until like 2 a.m. But yeah, overall, I've enjoyed everywhere I've stopped.